Well, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says powerful steps are being made to root out corruption at the highest levels of government. This as he appeals for more military and financial aid from the international community. Well, within the past hour, Ukraine's Deputy Defence Minister, Vyacheslav Shapopolov, has resigned following an allegation that his department overpaid suppliers for food for soldiers. Anti-corruption police on Sunday said they have also detained the Deputy Infrastructure Minister on suspicion of receiving kickbacks of up to $400,000 during the importing of generators. While well, Zelensky said corrupt officials are to be rounded up and jailed as part of a zero-tolerance policy. Well, let's go to Natasha Butler, who's in key for us. And uh, can you tell us more about the growing concern around corruption there? Well, the Ukrainian president, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky, did indicate on Monday in his nightly address that he would be making some changes in his ministries following uh, a number of corruption uh, scandals. Now, as you outlined there, a number of top officials, including the deputy uh, infrastructure minister, the deputy defense minister, have either been sacked or resigned. Also, prosecutor general, the deputy head of the presidential office. So a number of people who are having to step down or have resigned uh, because of links to some of these corruption scandals. Now, what Volodymyr Zelensky is obviously trying to do is show Western powers that are pouring in aid and military aid and uh, financial help to Ukraine that Kyiv is taking this sort of thing very seriously indeed and that that aid and money is being used for the right reasons and not being siphoned off by some uh, government officials. Of course, cleaning up corruption is one of the conditions also for Ukraine uh, to to do if it wants to be part of the European Union. And we know that steps are already underway for Ukraine uh, to accede to the uh, bloc. And this all is happening uh, at the same time that the NATO Secretary General is meeting Germany's Defence Minister on potentially sending tanks to Ukraine. Has there been any update on that? Well, quite frankly, nothing new. We're in the same position that we've been in for the past days and the past weeks. You have uh, the German defence minister standing alongside uh, the head of NATO saying that Germany still hasn't taken a decision on whether it is going to send uh, its leopard tanks or whether it's going to allow others to send its tanks. What the German defence minister said is that NATO must not be party uh, to the war in Ukraine. A lot of concern in Berlin that sending these tanks, offensive weapons, could send the wrong signal to Moscow, could uh, escalate the conflict. He also said that, look, any decision that is going to be taken will be taken by the German Chancellor uh, Olaf Scholz. It will be taken at that level. And he said, look, perhaps Olaf Scholz needs time. He needs uh, a few days to make these decisions. Well, for the Ukrainians, there is no time. They say every single day that these decisions are not being made is another day that lives are being lost here in Ukraine. Okay, thank you so much for that update. That's Natasha Butler for us in Kiev.